Hey guys, what is up? It's your homegirl TVC and it's raining outside so if you hear that kind of noise just ignore it. I like the atmosphere, everything is dark, everything is grey. I love rainy seasons, I love the cold, I just love huddling up in jackets. It's just so nice. Maybe it's because I'm from Africa and we're doomed with heat but not to the extent that you see in media. Maybe that's why I like the cold but I do like the heat as well because you can strip down, wear some sexy things. Anyway, <laughs> as you can tell by the title of this video, I'm sure some of you are thinking, wait, was you going to VidCon ever a thing? And also, shout out to the fact that I already have a topic to talk about before I turn on the microphone. Like, no, oh, who am I all professional up in this ish? Well, yeah, VidCon 2018. I was actually supposed to go. <laughs> I wanted to be a surprise, like, hey guys, I'm going to VidCon. And I was so excited. I was just over the moon with excitement. But I didn't tell anybody because where I'm from is always that kind of thing of don't put the cart before the horse. Make sure 100% that you are going before even putting it out there. So that's why I had to wait and I'm glad I waited because it would be so embarrassing if I had made a video I might be coming to VidCon and then now I'm making a video I will not be coming to VidCon. And ugh. Well, I'm sure you're wondering, okay, why are you not coming? Is it money issues? Not really. Everything was down pat. The thing that actually caused me not to come to VidCon is a US visa. Well, I don't know if some people know this. I hope so. But you know when you want to travel to another country, you have to apply for a visa. But whatever it is, uh, I don't even know how to start explaining this. Apparently, if you're an American, you don't have to do visas to other countries. Maybe if you want to go to Dubai or somewhere like that. But I don't think you gotta do it. And also, if I was from let's say Cameroon or Togo I think those are the French speaking African countries because they were colonized by the French they don't have to do visa so they can just get on a plane tomorrow and go to France so my country was colonized but by the British but those fuckers didn't put that type of thing in place you still have to apply for a visa if you want to go to the UK and they still kick you back here I just I hate the British so much I like them I like the accent I like them but I hate the government itself they are such fuckers they fucked over so many african countries i don't know why people hate america so much people should hate the british a lot but well americans are kind of descendants of the british but americans kind of you know destroy countries based on war and stuff like that but the british basically destroy a country from its roots with separation and oh my god I'm getting into history right now anyway back to VidCon so what happened was I told my parents that because they're gonna pay for me like I said my parents are very wealthy I was talking with my mom telling her oh my god I'd like to go to VidCon and she was like huh what is this VidCon and I explained it to her and she was like okay sure let me talk to your dad and my dad was like okay fine I'll pay for her and I'm like what what I'm 22 years old and you guys still haven't bought me a car but you're willing to ship me off to California oh, okay then I'm not complaining but they I don't understand what they think because they're telling me if I go to California I should get like a school because they want me to pursue a master's degree and your girl hates school but it was kind of like the ultimate well that's my mom's ultimatum my dad basically didn't care he was like go have fun tell me stories because they are surprised by the growth of my youtube channel and they're thinking oh my god we should really support her in this thing that's new that we don't understand and i'm hyping up youtube to be something like what youtube really is and what youtube is in their head is two different things so when my dad agreed we were um i went online i got all the plane tickets i, I figured out all the hotels and I was going to pay for a creator pass that's the purple one and it was around yeah it was two hundred dollars then but then it was time for like applying for visa or whatever and then I was like okay everything I have to go to is a little too much for me can we like use your agent because my parents want to travel to India for some medical issues with my dad and my brother so they were like, okay, fine. So they talked to that agent, and the and I also wanted the agent to be the one to book the hotel and everything, but. 
something was ticking at the back of my head I was like how long will it take a visa to come out and he was like oh we pray in one week inshallah and by that time it was almost two weeks to VidCon and I was like how much would it cost because I don't know if we're paying them to do the visa for me or if we're paying the US Embassy corruption it's nice to live in a country like this you don't have to do anything you can pay for anything with money but I think a Dubai visa costs about a hundred dollars an Indian visa costs about two to three hundred but an American visa costs somewhere around six to seven hundred dollars just for the visa alone and then the plane tickets the like the price of the flight costs around a thousand to two thousand dollars and then for hotel per night is two hundred dollars that's the one I could find that was associated with Bitcoin so if it's two hundred dollars per night and I wanted to stay like a week that would have been a thousand four hundred dollars so you can see plus my parents have to give me money for food and stuff like that so everything would have come to about five thousand dollars just for this one week alone and I just did not want them to sink so much money in and then the visa doesn't come out on time and then we have uh, it was gonna be so embarrassing they would have paid for the flight they would have paid for the hotel and the VidCon tickets I even forgot to add that two hundred two hundred dollars for the VidCon tickets and if the visa hadn't come out it would have been so embarrassing it would have been so uh my fault i didn't plan ahead because it was just spontaneous i told my mom like maybe a month to vidcon or three weeks to vidcon and she was like okay yeah sure let's you can go if i had known it would have it would have been that easy i would have told them months ago like a long time ago so my parents were looking at me like no you can still try we can try that and i'm like i will not feel comfortable you guys spending that much money for visa and it doesn't come out on time we can get maybe plane and hotel tickets back i don't know if, sorry we can get the we can get refund on the flight and the hotel probably maybe but i don't know if we can get refund on the vidcon tickets but the visa we cannot get a refund on that and it would destroy me internally if that were to happen and my mom was looking at me like oh my gosh she's so mature she'd rather not have it than risk having it and i was like we can just plan for next year if we live that long obviously so for now me going to vidcon next year i would just say it's an 80 percent probability because i never want to think of something as 100 percent anything can happen so with that in mind i'm gonna plan super duper early for next year i'm gonna like buy my tickets in november because that's the earliest they come out and if i plan that early i might actually be able to buy an industry pass this time because i was going to buy a creator pass because the industry pass cost around 500 or 550 so and i don't know why i'm just wanting to get an industry pass because it's like it opens up all let's say access to vidcon but the creator pass is kind of in the middle and yeah i want to have that creator pass because i'm just a creator i'm not in the industry yet but by november i, I would have been a youtuber for three years so i kind of know all the ins and out of youtube of being a youtuber basically i'm just not a famous youtuber so that's a little bit of internal struggle but we'll wait till then i think in november an industry pass would cost I know Creator Pass is 150 or 120 or something. So industry should be around 400, 300 maybe. Well, I'll check it out later. I forgot. And if I like plan in November, everything will be dirt cheap because that's the thing with this world. When you plan so far ahead, I think the plane tickets would be super cheap if I'm buying plane tickets for a flight in June in November and plus the hotel too will be very cheap because by then nobody is doing the VidCon rush and who knows maybe I might even be able to get a room in the Hilton that's what I actually want like really badly so I told myself it's better to go to the VidCon prepared with everything in place than to go when you're rushed and everything is just so crammed together and any mistake can happen because if I had gone now a hotel would have been a problem landing a plane would have been a problem because there was 
the flights were not as well I say organized or concise I think as I wanted it to be like takeoff could be a day after because I'm so far away from America on the globe that sometimes you have to account for the times the difference sometimes it can be 18 hours or 12 hours or 6 hours so there can always be that mistake when it comes to booking flights and then if I land I'm gonna be so disoriented and plus I'm gonna be alone it's gonna be it's just gonna be so much for me but if I plan for next year I can have everything the plane the visa the hotel and the VidCon tickets, everything's gonna be planned out, concise, ready, and waiting for me to go and nothing bad to happen. And who knows, maybe I'll be able to go with somebody. I really wanna I really wanna go with my boyfriend. He also wants to go, but because of how everything just came up randomly, he's like, There is no way I can plan to go for this thing. But if we plan till next year, everything can be structured and put together in a nice neat little box. I can book a flight because I want to stay for seven days because even if the VidCon thing because it's three days VidCon I want to meet you guys even outside of VidCon I'm still hoping for that picnic um, a long time fan Watts I think I can't remember his full name but I know the first name is Watts he was like how about instead of cooking for us fried chicken we do a potluck I'm open to a potluck you guys potluck fried chicken anything I just want to hang out with my fans. I oh, I even forgot to ask, will you guys even be able to go to VidCon? Because I know a lot of you are spread all over the world, but a majority, 56% of my fan base is in America. I know I have a couple in Australia, so who knows? I might be able to go to VidCon Australia if that also pops up, but I don't have that much of a fan base over there. But for the two people in Australia that watch me, even if they don't live in the geographical location of where VidCon Australia takes place, I will personally pay to go wherever it is you are on that continent, island, state of yours to find you and hug you because I love every one of I love every single one of my fans and I want to physically be able to hold you guys and hug you guys and tell you guys I love you and thank you for being with me for so long. But yeah, that's all for this TBC Talks. I'm not going to VidCon unless maybe a US visa happens to pop out in the next 24 hours and there's a plane fast enough to take me to the US in two hours. I'm not going to VidCon 2018, but it would have been so lovely to have done so. If you are going, please let me know. I want to, you know, experience it. I'm kind of a little bit salty because I'm seeing all these other YouTubers posting videos. I'm going and I'm like, you lucky bastard. <laughs> you planned ahead. Or you live in America but that's all for the CBC talk I'm also thinking maybe I'll, if I if I will go to next year's VidCon alone I would like to share my room with like another female youtuber not a fan because I would like if I actually ended up sharing a room with a murderer that person can be identified and traced immediately but it would just be nice to get to know other people on that trip but that's just a little side thought I had because if I do get a Hilton room, I'm gonna have people try and befriend me for the room. So that's something to think about. I just went off on a tangent, like my mind just wandered to the most negative place possible. But I'm gonna end this video here. Thanks ever so, so much for clicking to watch, for staying for as long as you did up until this point. Um, I don't know what else to say. I want to give you guys something for reaching the end, but I don't have anything to give. I can maybe tell a little story. <laughs> there was a very lovely fan, a long time fan. I think they've been with me since I was like 1 or 2k. And well, 1 or 2k is not really that far back, but let's just say 1 or 2 years. And they were on Twitter, they were in my DMs, and they were trying to figure out where I was from. And I was like, you know what? You've been a fan of you for so long. I'm going to give you a hint of my country and I gave them the hint and they were so excited and I was just looking at my phone I was just so happy like I can't believe telling someone where I'm from gives them so much joy because apparently they were they've been trying to figure it out for a year and I was like is that really important to people I never I never knew so yeah I like the little scavenger hunt that we had it's not really a scavenger hunt because they already knew the thing I referred to but some people might not but that was really nice so if Maybe some, if I reach 50k, I might do the same scavenger hunt in in an official video for you guys who 
listen to my TVC talks because it's only the real OG fans who listen to this. But yeah, I'm gonna shut up now and leave this here. I'm just smiling from ear to ear because thinking of you guys really makes me happy and really puts a smile on my face. But yeah, that'll be all from me, folks. Thanks to your viruses so much for clicking to watch. But with that being said, this is TVC signing out.